What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming bringing you back Seven Days to Die. We have just come across the Horde. We bumped into it head first and we came out the other side severely scathed, hurt and kind of broken and a little bit of uh, a little crybaby inside of me right now. <laughs> Loads of demolishers showed up. I did not expect them whatsoever. They uh, suck. They caused so much damage. He, uh, they destroyed the um, pathway that I made. I might change it up a little bit. I think uh, today's episode I might just do all loads of repairs and I might change change it up a little bit on how I kind of set up the whole base. I kind of learn from this experience and just see if we can make it better. I did exactly what I said. Difficult. Okay. <laughs> I did exactly what I said. Difficulty is ramped up to insane nightmare. So nightmare speeds, so they run stupidly fast, like unrealistically fast. And uh, they are on the hardest difficulty. Um, their death rate on the on the insane is more or less no different really to survivalist or whatever, depending on the weapons that you got. They, they are just bullet sponges. They just take so long to die. Especially like radiated. Never done it before. Never played Insane Nightmare before. I'm totally bricking it. I have a feeling that I'm going to die this week. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's. Oh yeah, I've got lots of stuff in my inventory. This is basically everything that I got. Almost. So, uh, I chucked some other stuff away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six it is. Let's switch over to our nerdy glasses. Look at how much shotgun ammo I've got. That is a ridiculous amount of shotgun ammo. <laughs> and I, I'm lacking badly on the uh, nine mil, but I am gonna make a. I'm making the switch to um, AP. So, but it means that this week I'm gonna need to mine a crap ton of uh, lead. Get more. Um, was it coal and nitrate powder? How much do I have? Where's my coal and nitrate? So nitrate, I've got 527, not a lot. And I don't have any coal. Yeah, because I've recently made some more AP ammo. Let's sell everything that we are going to sell. Not that. That reminds me, did I level up at all? Nice. Three skill points to spend. That's very good. Uh, where do I want to put it? Uh, machine gunner. I would like max level of um, SMG gunslinger. So uh, you are the fastest gunslinger in Nav's gain. Deal 50% more damage, 25% faster fire rate, and 30% faster reload with handguns. Critical damage. Three conse consecutive hits in a short time cause the last shot to do 100% extra damage. Um, shall I you go for that? I mean, it's two points to get it to level eight. It's just so expensive when you get to like near the end. Flurry of blows. You have developed quick hands. One-handed melee weapon. Uh, One-handed melee attack speeds are increased by ten percent. This perk applies to clubs, brawling knives, machetes, and stun batons. All right, so it makes me uh, swing my bat a little bit faster, and that's pretty good. One-handed melee attack speeds are increased by 25%. Each kill recharges stamina by 30 points. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. I've got a feeling I'm going to stick to the shotgun quite often this week. Speaking of, my guns need repairing. Why is that in there? I don't want to put... Oh, it isn't. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put that in there. Duh. Silly, silly person. It's just that I'm not used to seeing shotgun ammo in these boxes. Right, what was I looking for? I've forgotten now. Oh yeah, military vest, definitely. Oh, it does more protection, so much more protection and the extra mod slot, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. It's completely fucked that off. I'm probably going to sell it. Let's repair it first. Uh, cloth, repair, throw that away. Trade. Mods. Mm. I don't know, I can't see any more mods that I could put into this. What's in there already? I could put this in there. Advanced muffle connectors. It just redu it reduces noise. I want to make myself like a tank. 
be able to take any killing blow that I can take. Seems like I'm out of options. What mods have I got that I can make? Oh yeah, the Fireman's Mod Axe. That would be quite good to get. I've completely forgot about that. <laughs> uh, nothing in there. Just any better protection. All these ones are locked. No, Still not managed to find any of these mods. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I think it's going to have to be the advanced mindful connectors. Don't really want to, but kind of have to. Throw that in. Done it. Awesome. Now we're... Now we're rocking complete military spec. Very good. Right. Uh, can I repair you? Yeah. yeah. And throw that. Oh, yeah. I want to repair my guns. Repair. That should be fine. It's just the one. All right. Sell that. Finally. All right, I'll do all these repairs later. I've got so much more money. How much money have I got? 95,000. I'm actually saving. I can't even do that in real life. <laughs> more gunpowder. Nothing in there. Any foods in there? Nope. Right, so we we're doing okay for gunpowder, but I like to have more. Right, let's get on repairing. So I need concrete, cobble, I'll take it with me anyway. Cobblestone, cement, uh, steel, yeah. I'm going to need more steel. Uh, woods, yeah, sure. And that should be all she wrote. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take the scrap iron so I can upgrade my hatches. Nail gun. Right. Let's get repairing. Keep accidentally upgrading steel blocks that I don't want to be upgraded. Bixby, hold on to that, please. Thank you. Let's just make as much as I can concrete. Right, I think that's all the concrete around here done. I could upgrade this, yeah. Oh yeah, because the... Oh no, I don't want to. Actually, I'm gonna destroy this. Uh, about there, yeah, sure. Destroy this. And I think we're gonna make our balcony. <laughs> Should be a lovely spot for it. Just, uh, yeah. Perfect spot for a balcony. It's not going to be very central because this POI has no center. Which uh, sucks a little bit. Oh, I got badly damaged. Just, yeah, upgrade all of this. Do I want a window? I think I do want a window. Have one there. And another one here. Why not? Break it, break it, break it. Cool. Alright, upgrade the rest. So concrete, upgrade that. Nice. Right, I'll carry on with that in a minute. I'm going to fill up these holes. Not happy. The hole was going it was going pretty well to begin with, but it just went at absolute shite when the demolisher showed up. I had no idea that they were going to show. Alright, let's do the ground floor down here. Uh, let's actually repair first. I might double layer this. Yeah. Yeah, I might double layer this. Might look a bit stupid, but... I need to. Is that? Yeah. So much damage. So much damage. Look at that one. That one's almost gone. It's 
because I believe it takes obviously anything from cobblestone and below will be destroyed by a demolisher in one explosion concrete I believe it's two explosions from a demolisher and with steel I think it may be three but this is the first time for me guys to actually deal with a horde with a demolisher because like I've said like I've said before I usually have ended a solo series before I started recording this game I used to end it pretty early like when I started to get fed up with um, the gyrocopter <laughs> that's usually when I've left the game uh, do I want yeah yeah I want that to be concrete yes well I'm, I'm standing on something oh it's that stupid block well let me where is it is it this one Oh, sweet, I've managed to get it. <laughs> cool. Everything's damaged. I'm just going to repair as much as I can. And upgrade as much as I can. I don't see me doing any raids on this episode. Because this is really important. And because of the hordes, the game started much later. Double this up, yeah. Just make it extra strong. Um, any problem? Actually, I'll just... The only problem is if I put a block up here, if they break through this layer, because I can't put anything there because my stuff's there, they could very well walk along that. So much damage. Absolutely terrifying. Look at that one. <laughs> this door's badly damaged. Sure, I'll upgrade you going absolutely crazy with the upgrades. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that might be okay. It's low enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so. Our ladder is damaged. This block is damaged. I've just come up onto the roof and noticed this. The zombies, the demolisher took out the roof. <laughs> making it all strong so that the whole part of this part can be concrete I'm not risking it Well, that's that. I think I'll um, do this part as well, because why not? I want no risks. Yeah, there's damage up here as well. Not too much, but enough to want me to upgrade it. <laughs> this is uh, this is literally picking up the pieces of the horde. See, this ain't too bad. The vultures were not a problem whatsoever, which is fantastic. Okay. So yeah, that's drone. Where are you? I need my steel, please. Uh, inventory. Right, slowly running, running out. You don't realise how much of a, how much damage the demolishers can do until either one you're dead or two, just make it out alive. Upgrade that. And anything else? No, it's lucky really because they could have destroyed these pillars, these what used to be pillars, because these these steel that steel block there is hanging on to all of this. If they destroy that, then that's gone. That's it. And they they, they damaged my stair, my ladder. <laughs> Copy shape. Why is that? Why is that upside down? <laughs> that's weird. Copy rotation there there. And not there. Cool. Oh, for fact's sake. Yeah, let's go and do the outside. There's still places damaged. What, what what are we looking down here? Please don't be any zombies down here. Please let the land claim block work. Good. So what I did with the land claim block definitely works now. No more zombies are spawning in this POI. Which is what I'm all about. Well, okay. They 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's because of my mining, probably. Is there any other holes I should know about? It's damaged down here, but not too much. Any more holes? Uh, let's upgrade that. Oh, fuck's sake, that was already concrete. Stairs are not too bad. There's a random chicken. Random chicken in my... He's, he's, he's practicing for the horde. <laughs> Where are the zombies? There are no zombies whatsoever. I've just realised. <laughs> okay, got a snake. Random snake. Also, aren't there supposed to be a lot more chance of wandering hordes to spawn in the wasteland? Hmm. It might be because I've not long changed the um, changed the uh, wandering zombies. That might be the case. I didn't destroy the ladder. Which is good. Right, how are we looking over here? This is not too bad. That's a bit damaged. My basically all my traps are just gone. Apart from the fence. Which is oh for fuck's sake, I keep doing that, it's doing my in. But I need to steal on me. <laughs> right, so oh, wow look at that, that's damaged. Yeah, they got rid of most of the curvy blocks. Maybe when the zombies come, they have to, they drop down, and then they have to, and then halfway through, they have to jump back up. Because nine times out of 10, when they do that jump up, they stagger, and that could grant them to fall off the, the, the pathway easier. So I'm thinking about doing that. So I'll do it like this, and then I want it to drop down by one so I am going to copy this block because that's going to act as the new pillar and upgrade that that can go to steel repair this uh, that yeah sure that can go there soak in that alright so we're better protected now so it shouldn't collapse now there is it this one uh, let me rep uh, repair that so that's pretty much everything in the corridor done I just need to sort oh hello I missed that copy shape copy rotation that to go there lovely sweet okay so I want it to drop down by one. It's going to make this a lot harder for this to collapse now. <laughs> so I want that to disappear. And collapse. Nice. I have to break that when I get down there. Right. These six are all held together. Well, no. That's not held together. Neither is that one. So destroying this and this will make it collapse and that and that will make the other two collapse. I hope you guys see where I'm trying to go with this. I'm trying to like, so they have to drop down, possible stagger, they fall off and then they run up when they get about halfway to about here, this one here, they're going to have to jump up equals another stagger. Yes, they won't be in a straight line and I won't be able to do double kills as often, but I'm hoping that this will work. So let's destroy. I'm going to stand on this one. Let's destroy that one. I had a thought process whilst I was painstakingly trying to destroy those uh, concrete blocks. What if I make this narrow? Not narrow like how I did it when I first built this base, but narrow so it's a pole and it's central so they can still run on it. Let's have a look. So poles. Uh, pole side centered and advanced like that is there anything skinnier anything thinner than that because they might fall in the center because they're they're too they're skinnier it obviously means I have to destroy the rest of these which is annoying 
but it might be worth it. Is there anything skinnier for that? Um, not that, not that. I don't think there is. I think that might be the best I can do. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. I'll sort that out. Can I place you, please? I hate it when it does that. Right, I need to destroy those blocks. So let's build a little scaffold for ourselves. No, I don't want that there. Because I want them to fall. Uh... I can't put anything there. I've got to be careful that there's a hole there. So if I destroy these two steel blocks, it will collapse. And then uh, I'll join it from here. And then they'll uh, stagger up to it. And collapse. Laters. Cool. Awesome. Alright, now that and that. Join it all the way up to where I am. So shall I? Yeah, I think here's fine. Make it so it's exactly because I was going to make the stagger start here. So they jump out and they go, whoa, okay. And then they fall off. But maybe halfway through should be fine. Yeah, uh, that should be good. And then attach that to that. And then that one to that one. So now there's nothing supporting this block. That should be fine. Let's pick up all my cubes. My cubey blocks. It's now night time. It's now night time on Insane Nightmare. <laughs> Sweet. Now it holds up. So I'm going to upgrade that definitely to steel straight away. Because that when the zombies come down here, they're going to get caught up maybe and start punching this. I, I'm 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 interested to see will the zombies fall in that gap? Yeah, yeah, they will. Oh, that's so much better for me. Why didn't I do this before? <laughs> and let's upgrade that to steel two, and that to steel, and that, and that one, and that that and that just trying to increase my odds that's all <laughs> alright that should be fine now maybe when it's closer to the horde I can um, upgrade all of that still awesome it's now night time I haven't seen a single zombie in this whole episode that is very strange <laughs> oh and I noticed as well during the horde not, I didn't see a single dog. So this was a complete waste of time doing this. Rather infuriating. Very annoying, but... What's that over there? Maybe a plant pot or some rubbish. So yeah, that's that. I'm surprised my lights actually survived the horde. So all this is fine now. This should work out a lot better. Obviously, I need to. That's damaged. Jump from here now to get over. <laughs> Vultures barely did any damage up here, which I'm happy about. The shotgun, the or SMG turret worked perfectly. Oh yeah, and I'll uh, I'll do this balcony in uh, the beginning of the next episode. Anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. Please comment. Any feedback is deeply appreciated. Even if you just want to say hello, I'll say hello back. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to stay up to date with more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming.